Griselda's built a reputation of using some of the most distinctive, gritty beats in hip hop recently, blending elements of 90s boom bap with a modern twist. Their production can usually be placed in two main categories, soulful nostalgic tracks that feel raw and textured, and dark dissonant beats that create a haunting and cinematic atmosphere. In this video, I'm going to show you how the likes of Conductor Williams, The Alchemist, Madlib and Daringer create this unique sort of sound. And I'm also going to show you how you can create these sort of samples for yourself. First, let's take a look at how Westside Gun's Luncheon was made. I think the main thing to remember with a lot of Griselda style beats is less is more. For this track, produced by Danny LaFlair, it's mainly just a sample and some drums on top of that. The sample comes from Polish musician Wojciech Karolak's track, Goodbye. And the flare just takes two simple chops from that and they've been stretched to fit the tempo of 132. The original sample is pretty clean so he's trying to give that more of a lo-fi vibe. And to do that I've used RC20 and Sketch Cassette to give it that more gritty and kind of vinyl feel that you get from these plugins. If you're looking for free alternatives to that you can try Origin from Somatics. Tape Cassette 2 from Calum Audio and Vinyl from Isotope. After that, he's added some drums. And they're keeping pretty much the exact same rhythm as the drums in the sample. And this is what that all sounds like together. Now let's move on to creating your own sample for these types of beats. I started off with the noir felt piano and I played three chords, one which repeats itself later in the pattern. And that forms the main body of the sample. Everything else that I'm adding on top just supports that. Next, I added some higher notes up on the piano and that's just more for some ear candy just to keep it interesting. If you want to find some really good free pianos, there's a website called Piano Book, which has pianos, other instruments, all recorded by members on there, and they sound absolutely amazing. So yeah, definitely check out that website if you're looking for something similar. So after the piano was recorded, I wanted to add some bass. So I recorded some live bass using my Epiphone Viola. The bass kind of adds some movement, so it's a little bit more complex than the chords from the piano. After that, I then played in a really simple guitar part. And for that, I'm using a stock preset in Logic, which is using the Logic built-in amps called Blue Wave. And that preset's got loads of delay on it and a ring shifter, which is adding some really nice character to it. And then after that, I wanted to add some backing vocals. So I sang a line which goes along with the piano. And I sang that in three times. I kept one in the middle, pan one left, pan one right. And I think what that does, it makes the vocal a little bit warmer, adds a little bit of width. You can really hear the difference when it's soloed and you've just got that one in the middle or you've got the three spread across the stereo field. And obviously you can hear from those vocals, I'm not a great singer. So that is covered in a lot of effects to kind of mask that. And the final thing I added was this synth line from Sky Keys. Really simple, just in the background there, just to make it a little bit more interesting. First thing I then added on the master bus was RC20 for a little bit of that vinyl crackle. Next, I used Kramer Tape from Waves, which added a little bit of harmonic distortion. And then finally, I added Wave Studio Rack, and I use this on all of my mastering chains. It's the last thing in there. In this track, I was just trying to cut a little bit of the lows out and also get rid of a little bit of the muddiness that was in, in the mix. And then this is what it sounds like with some boom bap drums. Now 
let's dive into the darker, more cinematic beats. First up, I wanted to take a look at Westside Gun's Shower Shoe Lord, produced by Daringa. And the beat for this is simple, but super effective. It features a sample from John Fiddy's track, Baddie. With the piano part from the intro chopped in half and stretched to fit into a two bar loop. And then the drums are layered on top and that's basically it. And like I've been saying throughout this video, less is more. And now when it comes to creating your own Griselda style samples. I started mine with, you guessed it, a piano again. And I used the King's Upright Piano, taken from Piano Book, which I mentioned earlier. I layered that with the Noir piano, which I used earlier, and that was high pass just to add a little bit of shimmer to the top above the first piano. Next, I recorded the bass, and this time I was using a plug-in. My go-to when I'm not recording live bass is the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. And if you're looking for a free alternative to that, that sounds like a live bass, the Ample Bass P Light is a very good alternative for that. And to be honest, the bass and piano are the main core elements. Everything else is just in there to add some kind of ear candy and keep it interesting throughout. I've got some eerie strings in there taken from East West and I've chopped those and also transposed those a little bit just so they fit. And I also found this horror scream. which I found on freesound.org, which is an amazing website for free samples and just stuff that people have recorded. You can find anything on there. And then for some extra texture, I went back to freesound and I got this like sounds recorded from a train station just in the background, just to add a little bit of like talking and noise in the back to keep it interesting. And then to keep things from getting too repetitive, I've added this lead sound from Sky Keys in the second half of the sample. And then when you put that together with some drums and a Westside Gun acapella, this is what that sounds like. So there you have it, two really distinct styles, but hopefully you can take something from that and add it into your own production. And if you need some free samples to get yourself started, I've just put out a free sample pack on my label Loop Kitchen, which you can download from the link in the description. And I've also just launched my own Discord where I'm gonna be sharing loads of free samples and hopefully getting the chance to collaborate with a lot of you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like if you found it helpful at all. And also drop a comment below if there's any producers or artist style you'd like me to break down next.